Welcome back to the channel, folks. Bobby at Bobby's Hitches and Custom Welding. And what you're looking at here is a 1975 model. Even rude 70 horse outboard. <clears throat> now, I had this motor running. I picked it up for a couple of hundred dollars on a boat. I actually sold the boat. Uh, for about as much as what I gave for the <clears throat> motorboat and all, and uh, kept the motor because I wanted it to go on that little bumblebee in which I picked up uh, last <clears throat> spring. Well, anyway, um, I had uh, ran this motor a couple of times after I put it on that little bumblebee boat, 15 foot uh, little bass boat, you know, why I fish is in. And uh, just wasn't running right. Take a long time to get on plane and all that stuff. Well, I done went through the carburetors, the time, and everything just seemed to be fine. It didn't seem to matter what prop I put on it. I put a, I went from a 13 and a quarter by 15 all the way to a 13 by 19 prop. The 13 by 19 took forever to come out of the hole, but once it got up on the water, it would go. And then same way with the 13 by 15, and I said, eh, there's something else up. Well, what I found was, <clears throat> is I found, once I did finally realize, and I checked the compression, because the old guy said the motor ran, and he was right, it ran. But it wasn't real good. It had a, Really, I don't know if his camera can see that or not, but it had a bad problem with some pistons. It was had some cylinder drag in it. So, once I discovered that, I should have known better. I should have checked the compression right off, but I didn't. So, anyway, which is a, you know, it's all right. So, what I done was, is I took it down to the machine shop, little machine shop down here at Covington, Georgia. Not far from where I'm at. And a uh, guy named Billy. Does a real good job. Used to help me with my dirt track stuff. But uh, anyway, got him to mic everything. And he come back and said, you needed some 20 thousandths over pistons. And I get on eBay a lot. And I found there's a company out there called uh, really good guy, uh, Bill. It's called uh, Marine uh, Tech, or uh, I'm sorry, Master Marine Tech out of Florida. Uh, Bill was the guy I dealt with. Uh, but anyway, got me some really nice 20 over pissing. Now they say 50 on them if you look at it. I, can, I don't know if you can see that or not. Come on, focus camera. Uh, I'm assuming that's 50 millimeter on the box it says 20 over but these are some really nice i never have seen I, i've used uh uh car pistons because i build car motors and all that stuff but uh, with that kind of skirting on it uh, kind of protective skirting on it but uh we're gonna be uh basically building this little old motor this this kit comes with uh, everything you need new rod bolts all your main bearings uh, your rod bearings. Now, all this stuff, it, it all runs on, not babbitted bearings like a car, but it all runs on needle bearings, okay? Um, to lube these things up, it really, you know, you have to kind of lube them up really good. But anyway, um, it, it, it's kind of a little bit different than an automotive motor. But these little boogers right here, let's see here. These are actually your rod, the piston end where your wrist pin goes through. Those are what those rides on, and those are going to be fun to put in. They're actually right up inside there. I don't know if you can see them. You may be able to, but they're right up inside there. All this stuff runs on that kind of bearing. <laughs> uh, never have really got around to building a boat motor. 